Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is the day we are calling the giveaway winner. Somebody is about to learn that they won a 2019 Grand Sport Corvette. I can't freaking believe it. This is gonna be awesome. Life changing, it's a life changing moment. By the way, update for you on the Jeep life. I'm loving it. I, I love the Jeep, I drive it all the time. It's probably the vehicle I choose to drive the most often for like just regular daily activities. And I can't ever like put my finger on it, but there's something really fun about driving the Jeep. It just feels fun to drive. I don't know why, but I'm loving it and it's doing great. Still waiting on the darn wheels and tires, which uh, should be here any day. They did ship out now, I, I confirmed that. Uh, so I know the Jeep looks totally incomplete without it, but it's gonna be worth the wait, I promise. All right, and we're here. Beaver's over at the desk. Big freaking moment, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's finally here. All right. Let's make this phone call. Got the shirt. It came in the mail. The shirt is on. Bro. He's ready. That's the envelope. That's the envelope. The winner's in there. It is. Dude. The name. I can't believe it. Dude, I'm like shaking. Dude. This is. I took a picture of it. I literally had goosebumps on my I was like, oh my God. Like, it's crazy to think that the name is in this envelope here. Someone's going to get a brand new free Corvette. <laughs> That's like. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. I know. And this envelope is the name. And in the system over there, which Beaver is in control of right now, is the info for the winner. So I'm gonna pull the tab here. I don't know if we're gonna, should we show the first and the last name? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. It right? doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna open this, and I'll then we're gonna me. pull the info up. I'll pull it up. Oh my God. All right, guys. All right, are we freaking ready for this? All right. Luke DeBauer in Thornton, Colorado. I want to show his phone number, but. Yeah, okay, I want to show his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dropping off the car. Uh, could you give us like 10 Hello? minutes? Sure. Thank you so much. Hello? Luke? Hey, Mike? Is this Luke? Yeah. We're FaceTiming right now. Pick up. Is he going to FaceTime? Hopefully, he's FaceTime. Yeah. FaceTime. I want to see his face. Hello? I don't want to show his phone number. Yeah, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Is he still there? What happened? Yeah. Oh, no, let's call him back. Oh, we got to call him back. Call him back. We got to call him back. Oh, okay, okay. serious. We got to call him back. Okay. Just don't show his phone number. I don't think it, he'll see it there. He said Mike, so he knows. He said, yeah, he said seven. Mike. He answered? Uh, hello? Yo, know, Mike. Hey, is this Luke? Yeah, this is Luke. What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you doing? First try. Uh, like having a heart attack right now? Or you might be having a heart attack, buddy. I am here to tell you that you won the 2019 Corvette. No, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Now, I, we got to tell the people the story. So I friend requested you on Facebook. Yes. And yes. that was kind of a giveaway, wasn't it, earlier? Dude, yeah. When I got that, I had actually forgotten that I bought the shirt. <laughs> when, you, when you did that, I was like, who is this freaking Mike guy that's randomly adding me on Facebook? Uh huh. And then I, I looked at your profile, I was like, wait a minute. And then I went on your Instagram and stuff, and I was like, holy sh**, no <laughs> way. This is the shirt he bought. That's it. You bought a Street Speed he shirt? bought this shirt. The Street Speed Grand Sport shirt. Yeah, I did. I bought a, yep, a Street Speed shirt. Yep. That is awesome. Well, I'm glad that you were one near the phone, and I'm happy to call you, buddy. Believe me, I've been looking forward to this moment for, what, about two, two mo months, over two months now. Yeah, you've had that thing for a while. So We've had it. Imagine. Well, buddy, I, it's no joke. You are, in fact, the winner, buddy. Awesome, dude. I, I freaking can't believe it. <laughs> so you're out, in, you're out there in Colorado, right? Yeah, yep. And what do you got? You got a, I saw on your, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was stalking you a little bit, and you have a uh, Subaru WRX, it looks like? Uh, yeah, it's an SPI. Okay, cool, nice. cool. Well, that'll make a, that'll make a nice little uh, garage mate for the Corvette then. Yeah, heck yeah, for sure, man. Well, hey, uh, we got all your info here and we'll call you back and we're going to be in touch about whatever you want to do as far as like coming out. You know, we can fly you out if you want to drive the car, ship the car, whatever, um, which obviously it's, it's a lot to think about, but it's, it's <laughs> yeah. up to you. And you have to go you, change your shorts first. Yeah, if you want to go change <laughs> your pants first and we're going to call you back 
Uh, but this is obviously all on video that we're filming right now because this is yeah. this like we didn't call you before, obviously. So this is uh, you know just kind of all off the cuff here. But we'll call you back with all, all right, the details yeah. and everything, and we'll set it up. Awesome, dude! I'm extremely stoked. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. There you go. That's it. Dude. <laughs> That's it. I'm glad he answered. Yeah, on well, the first try too. That's awesome. That's well, freaking if awesome. He's probably sitting by the phone. 12 yeah. O'clock. He's definitely Our ready. Time, that would be what? Ten? His time? His time. Ten. Yeah. Ten, ten a.m. It's like ten a.m. over there. Ten a.m. on a Sunday. Ten a.m. on a Sunday. Dude. He sounded pumped. He sounded. I can't. Well, we accidentally like hung up on him the first time. I don't know what happened. I don't know what, what happened the first time. Facetime coming up. I want to see his like facial reaction. Like, that would have been like, freaking great. At this point, that would have been freaking great. That's well, awesome. there it is, Luke DeBauer. Congratulations for winning the car, and that's that's freaking that's incredible. Awesome. That is awesome. He loved it. I'm kind of jealous right now. Actually, he loved. It. Oh my god. Jealous yeah. and sad because now the car's going away. Yeah. Jealous. Well, me too. I it's... wish I was eligible to enter. <laughs> Man. You could enter. It would just be a little suspicious. If you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I win the car all the time. Woo! Oh, it's Matt, yeah. guys, is the winner. That oh. might be suspicious. Oh, no. Well, the rules clearly say not allowed to enter. So. Yeah, which, by the way, if you guys didn't know, for any of these types of things, like, nobody that we know is allowed to enter. So, like, it has to be a totally random. Like, even if you met some guy a week ago at a car show, like, you, he can't enter. Like, that's pretty much how uh, strict the rules are. Friends, but, family, relatives, affiliates of the business. Yeah, nobody. But there you go. Luke is our winner. That's pretty freaking cool. There he is on the piece of paper. And that's it. It's kind of like, well, it's not, it's awesome. It's not, but I am kind of sad it's over. Yeah. Because there's so much hype leading up to this moment. But, it is. Yeah. Now what? Now on to the next one, dude. He wants to do. There's still the delivery. I would imagine. You're, right, right. We still, this that's is, when it gets the big video is coming. That's the emotions. Right pour in from him because he's going to see the car physically oh yeah and you hand him the keys that's when like so well what should we do should we we'll fly him in we'll fly him in to see the car if he wants to drive back he can and drive. then yeah and then he can choose or he can fly out and we can ship it cool we all right eighty thousand dollar grand sport just like With that just phone call corsa exhaust mm -hmm. thank you ACS yeah composite. thank you corsa acs composite arrow thank you windows tinted in chain designs wrap don't forget, it's an award winner. It is an award winner from GM. He's got the signature from the uh, uh, VP, no, president of design, president of design. Of, at Corvette on the car. That's huge. That's freaking awesome. That's huge. Well, I guess that's it. So the next update on the Grand Sport is going to be when he actually comes to see the car, and that should be really cool. But thank you guys all for your amazing support and for entering. It was incredible. And don't worry, we're going to be doing many more. So if you didn't win this one, which unless you're Luke DeBauer, you didn't, but if you didn't win this one, there's going to be plenty of more, uh, plenty of other opportunities. Luke, it's Matt and Mike again. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, good, good. I kind of want to give you the details of what, what's next for you. Um, our sweepstakes coordinator, her name is Okay, she will give you a call Monday to kind of like let you know how everything goes as far as paperwork and whatnot um, for the car. Let me give you her numbers if you have paper and pen or I can text them to you uh, so you have that information. So when somebody from New York calls, you mean you answer. If you want to reply back, um, we'll need your driver's license, just a picture of it. And an insurance okay. and an insurance card for any vehicle that you own. Okay, cool. And then we can get you know our end all the paperwork facilitated that way. Um, but you know we'll call you and kind of go through all the legal stuff with it, you know, and uh, so you can you know accept the prize and make sure you I mean you're a U.S. citizen and and all that stuff, you know. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll text you her. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'll say I'll screenshot and uh, send you her numbers and email and everything, and she will be in contact with you on Monday. Awesome. Awesome. And do you ha and do you have an Instagram? I do have an Instagram. Uh, it is pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. It doesn't have to be big. What's what's your Instagram? Uh, and are you okay with me tagging you? Because you're probably going to get like a lot of uh, get, followers yeah. and messages, <laughs> but no, I'm going to tag you. Yeah, I'll try to like post stuff with the car and stuff just to keep everyone who wants to follow it like up 
date. Sure, if, if you want. I mean, no pressure, but I mean, yeah, that'd be cool for people for sure. I mean, they definitely like to see it. <laughs> Keep us updated on the Subaru and the Corvette, obviously. I checked my flight. I, I forgot. I'm going to my brother's graduation. He's graduating from boot camp, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Well, we'll get all the details and we'll kind of work out all the logistics for you then, uh, you know, on your schedule. But I uh, just want to make sure you would have, you know, flexibility with work to be able to come out. Yeah, I don't think that, that should be a problem at all. I think I could definitely make it work for sure. Awesome. All right, buddy. Sounds good. We'll talk to you soon. All right, cool. All right, Thanks, nope. Mike. Thank you, Luke. See you, buddy. See you, guys. Bye. <laughs> so that's what he said. That's pretty great. I'm glad he's happy. That's awesome. He's pumped. That's freaking awesome. All right, we're back, and it's looking like it's a little, a little cloudy here. We might be getting a little bit of... A little bit of thunderstorms happening real soon. Shane unfortunately could not make it today. He had a last minute family thing he had to take care of, uh, but we had already you know, told everybody that we were gonna do it at that specific time. And rather than you know, try to postpone it, we figured we'd better just call. So Beaver and I took over and we got it done. Uh, but once again, you know, thank you guys for the amazing support. And that is not the last giveaway we're gonna be doing. Believe me, it, it, the response was so awesome. We're gonna keep going. And the next one is going to be something totally different and very, very cool, hope you're excited. Moving on from that, I want to talk about the Blazer because it was a little bit controversial as I expected it would be. Uh, overall, the response has been good. It, last time I looked, it has about 5,000 likes, uh, almost 1,000 dislikes, but that's still a one to five ratio, pretty good. And at the end of the day, you know, it's my truck, it's my money, my channel, I can do whatever I want. And I didn't get to where I am today by listening to what other people told me I should do. But I do want to explain, you know, a couple things. Number one, the big, uh, criticism that people had was that I ruined uh, a perfectly good truck and yes mechanically it was a good truck um, but I think people are forgetting because I saw the word like pristine and mint condition thrown around and I think people are forgetting like that truck had a huge huge rust problem the entire body uh, back here I fixed it myself you know fixed which it's not really fixed Rich is over there having a blast, having a party. Um, but this is all spray insulation foam. And I didn't even make a video of it because it like turned out, it was pretty like embarrassing how bad it was. Now I did get it to look pretty good, I will admit. But this is all foam. This was rusted to what you can actually see, like you can see where you, <laughs> what it is, it's foam. Um, so this was all rusted away. And you can't even fix that. I would have had to get a whole new panel. It had, both sides were like that. It had a lot of other rust, a lot of other little issues. Now mechanically, yeah, it was a good truck. But to say like, you know, that I took a pristine Tahoe and ruined it is just crazy because that's not the case. Also, one other big thing was people were saying like, oh, you know, if you wanted a single cab short bed truck, you could have bought one. But this is a little bit different because it has the back seat still. And yes, I have the back seat in it. It's folded forward right now, uh, but the back seat is in. So my vision for this is like a beach truck, a mud truck. You can put, you know, I can put my friends in here. You can put whoever you want. You got four seats, actually five seats you can use. And I think that's really cool, especially because like on a nice summer day, you fold that seat up, if I can right here. And there you go, you're in business. You are in business. So that's the difference and why it's a little bit you know, more unique and a little bit cooler than just a single cab short bed truck. It's got back seats and it's a totally different look. I just wanted to address those two things. One more thing I had to say is it doesn't matter if it rains because I already took all the carpeting out and Ryan aligned it uh, in a different video. So the whole truck is covered in truck bed coating. Um, so it doesn't matter if it rains, like it's not gonna hurt the carpet. It, the seat, you know, might get a little wet. So we'll see how that works out. But the whole truck, I mean, this can get rained in. I could hose it out if I wanted to. Like, that's totally fine. So I'm not worried about, like, the back being exposed. Some people hate just to hop on the hate train, and some people just don't like it, which I totally get. That's okay. But I did want to say, like, you know, I, I certainly didn't ruin a mint condition blazer. This is not the end of the blazer. This is only a new beginning. We're gonna do like a roll hoop. We're gonna do all kinds, we got all kinds of great stuff lined up. Don't worry about the blazer. He's gonna be here for a long time. Now, this is perfect because I wanted to show you guys how not ruined my blazer is. So uh, this Nissan is really scared of the rain. We are now doing 20, about 25 and a 35. They are, uh, they must be really scared. But anyway, the Blazer is now in a massive thunderstorm and I, as you can see, am totally dry. I'm completely dry. The back of my truck is in fact exposed. 
but I am fine up here in the uh, driver's area, which really shows the true genius of my convertible blazer design because I am totally and completely okay up here. Even though the weather outside is awful, I'm protected and everything is cool. Really crazy because, I mean, it is really a, a good storm going on right now. And I honestly am not getting wet at all, which I'm kind of surprised by if I'm honest, I'm not getting wet at all. And it, like, I kind of thought I might get a little bit wet. It's doing great. So really the blazer, I take it all back. The blazer is not ruined whatsoever. It has only been improved. As I do have to talk a little bit louder in here when I'm vlogging, this person is now they have their signal on and they drove right by the turn. They slowed down. Oh, this is the one they want here. This is the one. Is it? You okay? Not even really like that old. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I do have to talk a little bit louder when I vlog, but that's okay, no big deal. What has my life come to? I went from a McLaren 720S to driving around on the highway in this thing. I don't know what happened, but I love it. Such a jalopy at this point. It's great though. It's freaking great. <laughs> you just look over your shoulder and there's nothing there. It's, it's so weird. I came over here to hit Vin's van, but it's not gonna work out. Let me just tell you one thing. Go ahead. You are lucky that Andy's truck is parked there. Yes, I'm all a block. <laughs> because I was coming for you today, buddy. I was coming for that van. <laughs> what? I'm not going in the grass. Mike, I have two extra seats. If you want to hold them in here. We can have three rows. We got and I have the swivels. Oh yeah, you have them swivel chairs now. Just bolt them in there, do a little nice little swivel in the rear. We could all go for a ride. Steve doesn't know how to weld very well, so. No, he doesn't. Or is, is he welding your van together? Well, he doesn't, so. I don't want to people call me out on Oh, good. Well, it looks like I have a clear path now. Then I'll see you, bud. Okay, buddy, wait. Oh, my God. Should I knock it off the jack? Uh, I'm still okay. <laughs> As long as you're okay with buying new jacks and they break. <laughs> Minor accident. You're gonna do it, you have to hit it hard enough to just, yep. Oh. Got him. <laughs> oh, look at that seat. Dude, they're comfortable. Look at the, the look at that velvet. <laughs> yeah, can I have those? I want to bolt a third row in. Let's do it. Yes. Supposed to be doing Get them out of here, please. <laughs> Do it. Now, I, I want them. You can have the back. You I can, can climb in. This is safe. This well, I guess I ran safe. into oh, it yeah, already. You literally almost kicked yeah. me over. So that's it. fine. Of course it's safe now. Oh, like, you yeah. busted out your headlight. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like you need headlights. Wow. You got a bed back here. Buddy, I have so much to show you. I Dude, yeah, I'm out of shape. So I'm very proud of you for getting in here. Doors gonna have so much to show you. Hold on. Like. So I'm so proud of you for right. buying this, buddy. I know. This is where I plan on living. Boy. You're gonna live in this? Yeah, I'm thinking like the stealth living, you know, save some money. Yeah, yeah. off the grid. Yeah. Oh my, you have a sink! <gasps> He's got a sink! You gotta show me oh. here now. My oh, god. Wait, hold on. Let me turn Open that one up. So what do we do here? Okay. Here's that wow, that works. So oh, oh my god. Jack Daniels sticker up there. There's a fridge. Is that where? Up I here, Jack that. Daniels. Yeah. There's a fridge and I'm cable ready. Oh my God, you're cable ready. This is, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. He can't even keep a straight face. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. little. This is, uh, this is my pantry. So I'm yeah. thinking this is where my spices will go. Uh huh. I'll prep over here. Spices oh, here, yeah. food here. Yeah. Gotcha. TV, probably in general, I don't know. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. Well, well now what is, this is like this clear. Yeah, show them the, show them the five star. I'm getting ready to. Is everyone Comedy. ready for the ambiance? Oh. <laughs> Steve's our limo drop. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Ah, I'm in! We I'm got in. lights. I'm in! We all need to go somewhere in this van. Dude, I'm down. Let's get this puppy going down, down the road. At least it wasn't your back door this I'm time. I'm telling you, I don't think it's safe to have that thing like exposed in the end. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> You can't drive around like this, you're gonna suffocate. No, this is fine. So the guy had it God. roughly around 12 degrees of timing off. 12, 12 degrees off? See yeah. what happens. Huh? Put it back to 12 and make it backfire. No, no, I don't. I, I want this thing to drive out of here soon. You all right? <laughs> There's something going on. What is, no, nothing's going on. Something you're gonna be fine. Going you're gonna be fine. Now, if I had my 33s on, like, I might fancy. get a little wild. I might go off the road or something, but I don't have my good tires on. Hey, so I don't even know where to put my arms because there's too much mud in this There's thing. an armrest. I 
over here, look at all the mud. What do you care about mud? Well, I'm, I like to stay clean. Andy, you're the dirtiest person I know. Wow! At least you're not that guy. Look, he had a massive problem. <laughs> yeah, this seriously. Wheelbarrow fell out of his truck. <laughs> now we will do. We'll do a little like drag race here. No, it's raining. I'm not even getting wet. Yeah. As long as you're moving. I'm as like, long as you're moving, you're fine. We're really. Doing a little drag race. Now? Yeah, we're doing a little drag race. We're gonna drag race this Honda. Here we go. Burn. No, it's good. Pat How does it there. feel? It's not hey, hey, hey! You're pulling my seat backward. You yeah, mean, that's, I mean, you have to make it a little bit prettier. That's my vision. It's like a beach truck. This is cool. Yeah. And really, I honestly thought when I cut the roof off, I was like, well, that's it. I'm going to ruin it. Like, that's it. But I love it. I think it's fun to drive. Oh. Andy's loving it. He's over there having a great time. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely lightning going on right now. There's a little lightning, yeah. You That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Like, sir, oh, he's turning. Is he coming? Oh, no. oh he's, no, he's uh, not. We should he's, go back and say he hi. went the other way. Yeah, we should go back and try to say hello. <laughs> That'd be honestly the best video ever if that we got pulled over. Be the funniest video. Yeah. Ben, stop <laughs> waving at the children. Hey, I got the camera. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> foot to the floor. Where's a cop when you need one? <laughs> oh, Ben's now it's starting to rain. Oh, no. We gotta get him back! <laughs> the weather has been a bit strange today. I promise the whole the whole vlog I filmed was all in one day, but it was like bright sun, then dark, then sunny again, then dark. Uh, but I am gonna do one thing here to the blazer that many of you wanted me to do for a long time. I'm taking off the bug guard thing because I'm preparing the blazer for paint as well. That's right, not only is the green OBS truck getting painted, so is the blazer, and I'm really hype to see the color on this thing. So I ended up not choosing this color on the green truck, but I am gonna do the, oh look, now it's raining again. God, uh, but I am gonna do the color I wanted to do on the green truck on this truck, and then I have an even better color planned for the green one. So that should be coming in tomorrow's upload as long as it's, okay, I'm about to go inside because I'm about to get absolutely dumped on right now. God, I can't even, half the video I'm like, okay, it's sunny, I can film again. I go out, it starts to rain. This sucks. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, I'm closing up. I'm closing up. It's coming. It's coming. God dang it. Dang it. I waited like so long to start filming again and now it's going to start pouring. Uh, we do have tons of mods ready to go. All that literally everything you see there is for the green truck. It's going to be freaking great. The build starts on Wednesday. Today is Monday most likely is when this video is going to go up. But you can see I started a little bit just to kind of test and get a feel for it. Color is going to be, it is in fact going to be olive drab. Hope you guys enjoyed this upload again. Sorry for the the sporadic vlog uh, tomorrow should be a great it's supposed to be nice and we'll be painting if you enjoyed this upload don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you for watching take care and have a great night and congratulations to luke on winning the 2019 corvette